In this video, I'm going to be talking about um, or answering a very frequently asked question by almost all of my students. How long should I be practicing or warming up as a singer and how often? I don't want you to think that lessons count as this. Lessons are separate from what I'm about to tell you. So, you know, I highly recommend taking, you know, music lessons once a week if you can. But that aside, let's talk about just your, your daily use of these, these techniques and warm-ups and just general singing practice. What I recommend, especially if you're just starting out as a singer, is to not overdo it right away. You don't want to burn yourself out or fatigue your voice so quickly that you get discouraged or, or you give up or you have to stop singing for a while and wait for things to calm down. None of that should have to happen if you approach it gently. And really, even the professional, advanced, experienced singers and teachers will tell you the same thing. Don't over sing, it's not necessary. To, to do a typical warm up um, or a vocal workout, you really only need to spend maybe 15 minutes on it. 15 minutes a day is plenty for warming up your voice because anything beyond that and you might start to fizzle out and you might end up doing too much you know, technique work and exercises and you'll be exhausted by the time you start singing a song. So keep that in mind. You'll wanna start out with gentle, warm-up exercises and then you can go into the different techniques that of course I will talk about um, in, in I have a curriculum but I also have a crash course where I talk a little bit more about different exercises and techniques you can use for a typical warm-up. So that being said I just want to state you know it, give or take a few minutes 15 minutes a day. If you go to 20 minutes that's fine. Not, a, not the end of the world. The best time of day to do this, of course, would be at the beginning of the day because you're warming up your speaking voice too. Believe it or not, that's a thing. So if, you, if you're like me and you tend to speak with a very elevated voice, I do. As, a, as an instructor and just, I don't know, I, as a singer, I tend to have to be in front of a crowd or in front of somebody where I always have to really project and have a nice present sound. So the best time of day, of course, to get all of this flexible um, and working is at the beginning of the day. Um, even better is when you can do it in the shower. I know you probably hear, you know, you're laughing right now thinking, oh, I sing in the shower all the time. It's when I sound best. Well, guess what? There's some truth to that. You know, great acoustics for one, but you're also getting that warm air moisture that you're breathing in. Everything's relaxed. You're hydrated. It's great. Great opportunity to do a 10, 15 minute vocal warm up and freak everybody out in your house, household if they're not used to that. That'd be hilarious. So that being said, you could do that every day. Um, it doesn't have to be every day, but even a five minute warm up in the morning every day would be ideal just to get things going. Now, the other thing I wanna say is it is possible to fatigue your voice and that's called voice overuse okay that's a thing you know you may have heard about vocal abuse or misuse and that's a result of improper technique and you know unnecessary tension which can cause problems and potential damage to the voice of course we want to avoid that but what i'm talking about is overuse which can have the same effect so you want to be careful not to overdo it if you're practicing for an upcoming performance like say you have a recital or an open mic where you're singing one song or even a handful of songs. You know, absolutely you can practice, you know, warm up 15 minutes a day, but I would recommend not practicing more than an hour a day in a row. Any longer than an hour in a row. So I'm saying, you know, you can practice for an hour and maybe you have a few hours and then maybe you practice for another half hour, that's fine. What I wouldn't do is sit there and practice for two or three hours because that can be very fatiguing and exhausting and you're going to wear yourself out. You don't need to do that. So where an instrumentalist might have a different approach where they can practice, you know, four to six hours every day. It's not the same thing. This mechanism is very delicate. So keep that in mind and just enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy the exercises, learn how to breathe. If you're sick, don't sing through it. Try not to sing at all if you're sick, actually, because that's really not a good thing to do on top of, 
you know, being fatigued. Um, that can cause potential damage over time. So avoid singing when you're sick. Um, you know, maintain some humming uh, if you are sick and you do need to be speaking for some reason. You can hum. Keep it simple, though. Don't overdo it. The other thing that I just want to say is, um, you know, stay hydrated when you do this. You never want to just dive into a warm-up or anything without having proper hydration either or, or stretching. So that's all I have to say about that. I hope that was helpful. I definitely have a lot more information on that. If you go to the link um, below, you'll see that there's a crash course available. And I'll talk a little bit more about different simple warm-up exercises and breathing exercises that you can start to implement into your everyday life. So I hope this was helpful. Feel free to like and subscribe to this channel. And I look forward to doing more with you.